Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> we are each other's Valentine. We decided. Today. We are so wonderful. I love us. I love us and I love DNR. I think we're so much better together than apart. And I have to say, I always thought it would be my significant other. I was always looking for that oh, soulmate. Mr. Right. Or the business partner. And I'm looking and looking your whole life. And you know, it's not always in a romantic context. No, as a matter of fact, we both made it very clear. No sex. Yeah, not, no. No sex. <laughs> because personally, I can't sustain sex beyond five years. And once you have sex with someone, it's just, there's an expiration date eh, on the relationship. You know automatically I mean? stamp. Expiration, and then you just, you know, <laughs> what is it going to be? And I knew that this was going to be the long haul because of the big age difference that when I leave the planet, you will continue. The legacy. And I have no worries about you won't do it exactly as I would want it done. I think that's half of it. Meeting someone that you're like-minded and you see the world the same way and you're better together than apart. That's that's the love that everyone is looking for. Exactly, but you think it's going to be Prince Charming. No, it's a friendship. It's friends. Friendship, <laughs> friendship. What a perfect friendship. Now, Valentine's Day, that's what it is to me. And I kept thinking, I'm going to send myself a Valentine. And I kept, we did that last year. Yeah, last year we sent ourselves And I'm over there time. typing on the computer and nothing is coming out. I have nothing to say to myself that I haven't said. Yeah, I feel the same way. I love myself, but I have nothing to say anymore. I've, I've covered that. But Dodson and Ross? <laughs> and I feel like our partnership, we're ready. We're ready to share everything with the world. Not that we haven't held back. We're but, ready. Yeah. Why do we need sisterhood? Why do we need orgasms? Because because of what we are talking about. Because we come into our own. We're perfect as we are. We don't need to find our other half. Over. Over and out. Now, I've struggled with this a lifetime. I know most women do. Yeah. And I've had yeah. lots of wonderful, wonderful boyfriends. And I just finished a 10-year relationship with Eric. And I loved every minute of it except the end. <laughs> well, come on. The end but is... But the end is always the end. It's difficult. But no, it's like we, women, we're the powerhouse. We are the power source. We are the birth we givers. We give life. When I woke up this morning and I realized that... that Mubarak was out. Egypt is free! It's very exciting. <laughs> and I went, oh, and so are we. Women need to claim their power because we are the mothers. We are the wives. We are the sisters. Sisterhood will take us there. And, and, and it's like everything I wanted in the 60s, I now see unfolding. The seed was planted in the 60s, but now when you look well, at Egypt wanna... and all these different countries and what's going on, and I feel like women, I feel like we're feminism is of age. And I think we're ready to deal with the issues that we didn't deal with. We're ready. Yeah, we're dealing with it. Actually, DNR are dealing with it every time we post. We're dealing with the inequalities in, in sex between men and women. For me, equality means being orgasmic and having a, a right to pleasure, entitlement to pleasure. I want every woman to have that same attitude a guy has. Right, that orgasm is as natural as bowel movement, digestion, hiccuping, farting, name it. You know, <laughs> breathing. Breathing. <laughs> it's all natural. It's a natural process. And because once that gets blocked, then there's a piece missing, and we all go around thinking, there really is something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. Orgasms make you whole. Brings it all together. You're a whole person and you don't need anybody else. So happy Valentine's Day means your friend. I got the only Valentine card I got was from my girlfriend, Jessie. Thank you, darling. So send your girlfriend, your best friend, your friend friend. The person you call with good news and bad news. The person send you know her, will never yes. judge you. Send her a Valentine. That, that's the real Valentine's Day.